Outstanding development projects on delivery list. We tell you what they are. Exceptional Tobagonians honored, and there are solutions to disapproval of street names. We tell you who you can call. Info update starts now. Info update. Bringing you the latest news, views, and, and reviews. reviews. Along with responses, comments, and events affecting you. Brought to you by the Information Division of the Tobago House of Assembly. In the past five years, the Tobago House of Assembly has been clamoring for a number of crucial development projects, including the Roxborough Fire Station. Now, these projects are on the agenda of the Urban Development Company of Trinidad and Tobago, or UDICOT. Caroline Wallace has the details in this report. Chief Secretary Orville London says he has spoken with UDICOT, which has indicated that the company will assist in delivering a number of major projects on the island, including the Roxborough Administrative Complex. The designs were already completed and submitted to UDICOT, but basically the challenge was, of course, the challenge of funding. What, what was very encouraging is that we have received a proposal for funding from First Citizens Bank Limited. Mr. London says the Roxborough Fire Station was also listed. They have indicated that they have analyzed the site along with the occup Occupational Safety and Health um, Officer, and they, they believe that the, the building can be remediable can be undertaken rather than the, the building demolished uh, so that they are going to be conducting the relevant surveys and provide an estimate for the remedial work. Also on Udicott's list are the Corland and Roxborough fire stations, police stations at Roxborough and Old Grange, the Scarborough RC School, the Mariah Health Center, and the indoor sporting facilities at Kendall, Mount Pleasant, and Keenan Bonacourt. Work should be started at Kendall and Mount Pleasant in the second quarter of 2016. I'm Caroline Wallace for Info Update. Tobago Day continued with a night of celebration at the Shaw Park Complex. Omadara Mills tells us more. Outstanding Tobagonians took center stage as the curtains closed on Tobago Day 2015 with the Chief Secretary's Awards. Alet Charles won the category for Agriculture. Junior Chamber International in the category of Community Service. Marcia Miranda and Gospel singer Samantha Johnson for Outstanding Achievements in Culture and the Arts. Theophilus Edwards, Gallantry. Walking away with the award for Sport, Deron Douglas and Akeem Stewart. In the Long Service Awards category, Desmond Spence was named as the Entrepreneur for the Year, while Peter Thabiti and Lawrence Crooks won in the area of culture and the arts. The Chief Secretary of London says all of Tobago should mirror the positivity of the awardees. We are paying tribute to awardees who have not only contributed to the development of Tobago, but have displayed the qualities that define us as Tobagodians. And therefore, as we applaud and we should, the achievements of the awardees. I want us to reflect on what they personify. The self-discipline, the self-reliance, the determination. I'm Omodaro Mills for Info Update. Some streets have been given names through Tobago's comprehensive signage project, which has been installing new street signs across the island. The project is being undertaken by the Division of Infrastructure and Public Utilities. Chief Secretary Orville London says even with challenges, Winward Tobago is complete. As everything else, when you're doing a project as widespread and as complex as that, and, and when I say complex, it's not about the signage as such. It's sometimes just simply determining what is the name. It's the naming is maybe more challenging than the signage. Mr. London says some people weren't happy with street names in their areas. There's an avenue, though, for them to raise the issue. Persons or communities or villagers who have challenges to contact the transport planner at the Division of Public Utilities, Scarborough Tobago. Her name is Miss Nadia Frank, and her telephone contact is 4946196. 4946196, Miss Nadia Frank. Persons who have who have concerns. Since the program began earlier this year, over 1,000 street signs have been installed. That's it from all of us at the Department of Information. I'm Davia Chambers, and you've been listening to Info Updates.